As a result of the last video where we discussed a, a few rules of the game and set up a few scenarios, obviously a few questions have been coming in about it. One of the questions related to the free ball situation. So in, let me just have a recap on what we're doing here. First off, a foul has been committed and I'm snookered on the final red. Okay, I'm snookered by the black. So I can nominate the black as a my free ball. So if I play the black onto the red and the red goes in, that is perfectly okay. If I play the black onto the red and the red and the black go in, that is still perfectly okay. What happens in that situation if the black goes in with the red I get two points. The, de -anom the anomaly is that the black comes out and gets respotted. Okay. Now one of the questions then, it gets complicated now, or so people think, but it's quite simple really if you use logic. What happens if the yellow is there? A foul has been committed, I've nominated the black as my free ball, just as in the first situation. I play the black onto the yellow and the red goes in. Perfectly okay. All right, I get one point. Then the question is asked, what happens if the yellow goes in as well? well no, that is not okay. So I play the black onto the yellow, the red goes in and the yellow follows it. Because the first ball I've hit and nominated as my free ball was the black, then I'm not allowed to pot the yellow as well. So I get no points for the red going in, no points for the yellow going in, and my opponent is awarded a foul. So he will get four points, and the yellow comes back up. The red stays down. I hope that clears that up. Another situation I've been asked about is if the balls end up in this position. Again, a foul has been committed, the red is the ball on, and the white has come to rest in this position. It is the cushion that is obscuring me it in the red, not another ball. So you are not snookered, you are angled, all right? Because you are angled, it is the cushion that is stopping you hitting the ball. Yeah, you cannot have a free ball. The options you've got in this situation are that you play the shot yourself or you ask your opponent to play from that position. There are no other options. Taking that a stage further, if the blue was there, it's still the same situation, right? You are not snookered, you are angled first and foremost. Okay, so you cannot have a free ball. It differs when the white is out there, right? Because now it is the blue that is the first obstacle from hitting the red on both sides. So I am snookered by the blue, okay? So in that instance, because I cannot see this part of the red, or I can see that side, but not this one, then I would be allowed a free ball. It, the blue is the first obstacle, not the cushion. Now, ideally, even in your league matches, it would be ideal to have a referee. But I'm fully aware that referees are not always available. And the best way to approach this when you have uh, a recreational game or even a league match. Yeah, the best way to approach it is that the person who's not at the table becomes the referee. So I'm at the table, you're the referee. You're at the table, I'm the referee. It's as simple as that. It does solve a lot of arguments. One of the things I want to reiterate on that though is that if there is a debate about a certain rule, yeah, whatever you decide at that instance, once that next shot has been played, that decision stands. You cannot go back and change it, 
all right? You continue with the game. If you're still at loggerheads during that game, before you play that next shot, get it sorted out, all right? Once you've played that shot, that decision stands. Continue with your game, finish it off. Accept the result. Then if you want a, a constructive debate about it after the game, that's fine. You can both learn for the next situation that may or may not materialize. On a closing note, let me just show you this one. Yeah, I'm expecting a few interesting answers and indeed questions on this one. All right, we're down to the final red. My opponent has gone in off and it's a foul shot. I am now playing from hand. In other words, out of the D. I can place this ball anywhere in the D. The balls have come to rest in this situation. Can I have a free ball or not? That is the question. I'm <laughs> expecting a few answers and comments on this one. And uh, we will be showing the correct answer in the next video.